Welcome to the Silent D Motor Show. I'm your host, Silent D. Today we will be driving around uh, Los Angeles, California, check up some uh, cool sites, but more importantly, spend some time with this beautiful 1969 Ford Mustang Mach 1. The Mustang is inarguably the most iconic American car of all times. It's been around for over 50 years and uh, over 9 millions of this has been produced till date. This one belongs to my friend Docs. And Docs, welcome to the show. Ah, thanks for having me. So, can we take this for a ride? Yes, of course. Well, let's do it. What does that mean? So the Mach 1 is mostly a trim package uh, that was sort of above and beyond the GT. This was the first year of the Mach 1 69 and it was really meant to replace the GT. So they added a whole bunch of interior options that were considered comfort options back then. Things like cruise control and heated various elements. Um, and then the exterior trim package which has the hood cowl, the uh, body built rear spoiler, uh, and the, the sticker package as well. It was mostly, in the end, it was mostly cosmetic, except for the very highest end Super Cobra Jet Mach 1s were like uh, top tier performance machines. Otherwise, they were mostly meant as highway cars, road trip cars, uh, cars to put a lot of long distance miles on. There's a handful of design elements that are specifically unique to the 69 Mach 1. The four uh, headlamps, rather than two headlamps and two fog lamps. Um, the 69 has all four up front, which is you know, something that is a dead giveaway of a 69. And then the 69 was the first year that they did the uh, rear spoiler uh, built into the body, where all the Mustangs in the past had contours along the, the top rear tr uh, trunk line. The triple tail lights, it's a first generation, all first generation Mustangs from 1965 to 1973 have what's the very iconic triple tail light. Uh, now you can get little aftermarket parts to actually make them sequential, like the modern ones. Oh, nice. So the modern Mustangs have gone back to the triple tail lights, uh, kind of as a nod to the, the past. You have the indicator lights on the uh, top of your hood scoop. Yeah, that's I kind love of... that. Yeah, that's one of the Mach 1 little design touches they added. The Mustang created... Uh, well, basically, it's on class with the uh, with the pony car, though, with with the original one, with uh, yeah the longer hood, the short uh, shorter deck lid, yep. and also more targeted for a younger audience. Yep. Uh, and just price point. Like, yeah, yeah, low price point. So just yeah, sporty, very obtainable coupe, and uh, they uh, yeah, I guess Mustang started it, and that's why it's got its uh, name as well, pony, in a reference to the horse that yep. you find in the grill on this thing, exactly, right? Exactly, exactly. So we're going up to Sunset, which is you know the famous Sunset Strip, tons of rock and roll history, all the nightclubs, the Viper Room, and the whiskey and the rainbow right here is where Guns N' Roses all play, and there's just decades of rock and roll history along this whole strip. It's the very famous Tower Records, the Chateau Marmont up here on the hill, the laundry list of rock stars and movie stars have lived there and spent, you know, weeks on end there. Crazy stories about all kinds of debauchery. So car culture is obviously very strong in LA. I also love, uh, yeah, there's just so many cool cars, but also modified, like people just love to personalize their cars, I guess. Even like, you know, in London, you'll, you'll see uh, expensive cars, uh, Rolls Royce, what not, but here you see the same cars, but like blacked out, slammed to the ground. Yep, the old murdered out. You see a ton of that over in Beverly Hills and West Hollywood. There's also a lot of distinct car cultures in Los Angeles. There's like the Chop community. Oh, Stretch Ferrari, sorry. Did you see that? <laughs> There's the Stretch Ferrari community. <laughs> this is strong. You can see the stars on the sidewalk, so all the Walk of Fame. Madame Tussauds. 
Chinese theater right here on the left, where a lot of film premieres take place also here. good so we've left the city we've come a little bit north and we're now in the Santa Monica Mountains high above Malibu before we drop off and go down to the PCH and it is unbelievable up here we're passing a little lake in this little canyon valley oh look we get a proper tumbleweed <laughs> is it about time to get you behind the wheel I like that uh, uh, yeah I think that's a great idea <laughs> feels very different from this side. <laughs> it feels good. Feels good? Oh yeah. How's the steering? Very light. It's light, that's pretty, yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. Super light, steering. The brakes feels like what you would expect in a little car. Yeah. The push a little harder. Yeah. It is disc up front, drum in the rear, so that was considered a, a major upgrade. Okay. Ooh. So that's something that the Mach 1 had that... Uh, that was the Mach 1, uh, the yep. The normal one didn't have? The base models did not have disc up front. It feels really tight and comfortable. Um, Very comfortable. Effortless uh, to drive. Oh, I love this man. <laughs> So take a right at this stop sign here. <laughs> oh, you want to jump over the right, right lane, right lane. Oh, <laughs> Somebody's been in London a little too long. <laughs> Heading down to Malibu now for a little sunset drink by the beach. Absolutely, my pleasure. And thanks to you for watching. Please click the like button, throw in a comment, subscribe, and I shall see you next time. Bye now.